Yes, nigga. Ouch. What the fuck are you looking at, nigga? Yo, welcome back, hey, to some more Corpse Party. Now, we finished chapter one yesterday. We're gonna go straight into it. Chapter two. Man. What? Oh, each chapter is its own game. Ah, interesting. Wow, 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 I did not know that. All right, view chapter two opening. Here we go, and I sped the text up this time. That should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. Naomi, you pissed me off yesterday, dude. Why did you act like that? Somebody possessed you and you didn't know who? Was that black demon that chased you around that infirmary? I know. All because of that stupid co-ed meeting two days. Why can't the boys class prep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking Kushinim, Kish, Kishinuma. Stupid ass K Kishinuma always fing it up. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever lifted, most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks. And he expects me to look around a damn pommel horse? What is that? Oh! Seiko, RIP Seiko. And this whole time you had a crush on Naomi and didn't even let her know how you felt. That's why y'all just gotta start saying these things before it's too late. That girl in your class that you be checking out every single fourth period, walk up to her, just say hello. I guarantee she'll either shut your ass down and you'll get over it, or she'll say hello back and boom, there's a conversation. Just don't blow it from there. Don't go, hello. Damn, you got a fat ass. That's gonna get you slapped or thrown in OCS, on school suspension. Trust me. That's not why That's not why Mr. Nasuf threw me in uh, OCS. That's for another story. That's never uh, whatever. Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Huh? huh? What is? He's talking about her. That should have got Seiko in OCS on school suspension. Absolutely. On campus suspension. Whoops. That booty you got. What? Yours is way cuter. These are children. Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You've got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. No, I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. With who? Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Ugh. Hmm? What's going on? Are we back as Nate? Oh, wow. Wow, wow. <sighs> this game should come with a trigger warning, bro. Like, I, had I known that somebody was gonna get hung by their throat in this game, I probably would've had a speech ready last episode, like, you know, suicide hotline prevention, tell y'all how much life is, is precious and how y'all shouldn't do things like that. I think last episode I just kinda cut it off because I was shocked, but look, y'all. <sighs> Talk to somebody. Obviously Seiko did not kill herself, but look, we're looking at it. Talk to somebody. All right. No. Yeah. No. Damn. Yeah. Wow.
Every time I look at the webcam, I'm looking purple, bro. Like a damn, I don't know, like a gross sister from Proud Family. Give me your lunch money, Penny Proud. I'm like, wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And and she was screaming. Oh no, I'm playing as Miss Shishido. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Oh wow, we're in a different uh we're in a different realm. Same school, different realm. <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> Alright. If the same amount of time has passed, why are y'all like, I don't know. Shinosaki! It's alright! Please calm down! But you heard it too! Outside! Her voice! I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I feel like she would talk super proper. I'm gonna see it everything. I'll go check it out though and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? Miss, Miss Yoshida, wait! Don't leave us! Alright, relax, Ayumi. Shinozaki. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, no, that's Yoshi. What happened to the dude with the glasses? It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Uh, okay. Or, better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety, I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No! Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Ugh. I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning and I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. Am I pregnant or do I need a boo-boo? Let's see. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. Uh, okay. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. Uh, that's how I feel living with these roommates. Uh, that's me. Uh, all right, I'm just playing. <laughs> PG like, what the f Valor, thy name is education. What? Okay, main building. 2F West Hall. This leads me up, okay, nice. Ran right into a, or ran into a collectible. Hmm, it's a key, isn't it? A label on the key reads 3A, take it, absolutely. Why does it have to do that sound effect when I collect good things though? Okay, let's get out of here. Wait, no, wait, 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 there's a note on the, on the uh, board, I didn't see that. Since when was this here? No teachers allowed on the third floor. The third floor is where the bathroom is, but on the other side of the hall. Okay, classroom 2A. Nothing, nothing here. Let's see. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and the authorities... I think we read this already. Yeah, yeah. Each of the corpses had its tongue severed in room... Yeah, yeah, we read this, we read this. I heard something about this once before, but I never realized just how horrific an incident it really was. Oh, okay. Classroom 3A, the door is now unlocked.
Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? I'll have you know I heard one of my students scream me and I've set out to find her. I see. Regrettably, as I kept telling people, that won't be possible. This school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or, maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely, as they do. <laughs> Miss Shishido is like, who am I talking to right now? <sighs> Consider this fair warning. Even if you should find the exact spot from which your students scream em em emanated, she herself may not be there, and if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But, I, I heard her voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps... It occurred in another space many hours previous. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Ugh, Mr. Shido. Ugh, I swear like that's the energy you need from- Step aside? Why don't you f*** off, you damn corporal? <sighs> An earthquake? What's going on? Mr. Shido, you need to take off running now. <laughs> Mr. Shido! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. Whoa! All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worthy, I mean, whoops, you're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. Uh-oh, I think I know what's going on here. Oh, this really, really hurts! You're all the same, every last one of you, and I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Damn. Taken in? Okay, predictions, early predictions. I'm assuming that whoever caused this mass serial murder was a teacher. Maybe it was the principal? When we checked last episode, the principal's office was locked. And so was the custodian's office, but I don't know. The spirit is pretty aggressive against my baby girl, Miss Shishido. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance. Because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem child and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them. You're just raging at them. That's... Not, I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. This spirit going crazy. You, you're wrong. Ah, ah, ah. All of your students are destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls if they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. Holy shit. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Is she dying? 
<laughs> I'm pretty good at this, bro. Don't don't front. Any last words, bitch? Damn. I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Spare me! <laughs> Come again? Spare my students! What was that? Please! I don't care what happens to me, just please spare their lives! Oh, Mrs. Shidu, this ain't how you're supposed to go out. Watch out, menu! They're not your children, you're not their mother! Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar! Did you know? When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forevermore. This dude crazy. This little fire flame, dude, I'll stomp you out. I'll, I'll, I'll walk in that room with some water bottle right now, bitch. Flash, bitch, you done. Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Damn, Mr. Shido, stay quiet. Spare my students or spare me? Woo! Mr. Shido, yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Mr. Shido will want her. They really gave me a choice. When did this game come out trying to give me cho choices like this is some uh, 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 uh telltale? Uh, I gotta go back and watch the other option, but you know I gotta click spare my students. I'm not finna, I'm not finna spare me and let my students die. Don't you harm a hair on their heads, you hear me? You are one stubborn little bitch. Oh, Mrs. She, dude. <laughs> Rasp, how you make that sound? This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Damn. Everybody live. I love you all. Oh my gosh, this game is dark. How they make a game with these kind of graphics this dark? It just goes to show that the level of creativity some sick bastard had when he put this masterpiece together. I'm not going to discredit you. This is fire. I just wish Mr. Shidu could have gone a different way. Could I really have saved her life if I clicked spare me? And that's it. Mr. Shidu is just gone like that. Damn, Ayuma and Yoshi is back in that room. Meanwhile. Whoa, another earthquake? Yoshi, what is it? Uh, I think it's over. What, what what's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We've got to go search for Mrs. Shidu. What if she comes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? Yoshi, she just got clapped like a standing ovation 
for you two little. I mean, I'm sure y'all are good kids, though. We're going. Uh, all right, all right already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? <laughs> Look, how about we leave her a note? Shinazaki, do you have anything I could write with? Uh, Yoshi about that action. Look at his eyes. I've got a pen. But no paper, huh? Well, there's always the teacher's desk. I'm sorry if my at first I was blue now I look like super color like like the sun is shining on me Ugh. Ugh. all right miss Yui we've gone to find you if we pass each other and you see this message wait right here we'll be back how's that blunt and kind of sloppy it's your fault we have to leave her a message at all you know but she might be in trouble Oh, okay, okay, just don't cry. We'll find her. Okay, this is me now. Oh my gosh, where did that take place at? Room 3A? Should I really just be walking right to that room? Hold up, hold up, hold up. It said no teachers allowed. Maybe they opened it up for me. Wow. Not yet. We gotta go make sure. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna have to look at this, but I, I'm kinda curious. It's quiet. The door seemed to fix to the wall like a model. It can't be opened. It, it's cold in here. Yeah, because Miss Shishidu just got clapped in here. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Sh Shinazaki. Do you have any more of those candles? Like the one you lit during the ghost story? I do. How about we light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Sure. If you needed heat, just ask me to freestyle. You said no? Okay. Yeah, don't whisper in my ear like that. This candle of mine really is kind of warm. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> you better save, quit playing. Okay, classroom 2A. Oh, was it 2A that that happened in? No, it was right here. That's where it was. What the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? Miss Shishidu, where are you? I'm really worried. Okay, let's let's check down first before we go upstairs to the third floor. That was such a morbid scene last minute, or or, or that last little that last little minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about the pee bucket. Please be- oh, okay, so it opens up to us. Great. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinazaki's famous scary, scary time candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who's intimately familiar with them, right? You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for a reason. So, how about... We light some candles like this, all throughout the school building. Is she trying to be funny or... Oh, okay, here she go. They'll be like signal flares for Machida and the others. Let them know that you and me and Mishishidu are all here with them, safe and sound. Aw. Yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better. Come on, let's go. Okay. 
We already know I'm finna hit a, a quick save immediately. I'm not playing around. <laughs> I'm like, this is one first floor, right? What is that music? Oh, this soundtrack kind of cool, bro. I can't even front. Whoa. These are human bones. Oh, God. No. Is she sick? Did she just cough up blood or she threw up? Uh, are, 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 are you okay, Shinazaki? I'll be f fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, she's sick. Come on. We have to find Miss Shishiru. Oh. Yeah. Where the hell is Satoshi? If he were here, I bet Shinazaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Uh, all right, already. Yo, she's scared shitless too. He ain't he can't, he can't front for too long. He just seen four corpses. Judging by size. These appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals the school ID name tag. Kai Shimada. Kizami. Did you just hear? We have to get away from here. Oh, okay, okay. I need all the name tags though. Let me just see how they all passed. Struck with one weapon and stabbed with another. Bled out. Sliced up with an edged weapon. Bled out. 17, 17, and 17. Disgusting. Let's go to the left first. Look at this, the principal room. Is that fresh? There are decaying skeletal remains here, about the size of a middle school student. They're in the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased they've been wearing is long gone, so there are no means of readily identifying gender on site. Victim's memoirs. I ate my friend today. What else is I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of paper, scissors, rock. Loser eats winner. <laughs> Bro. Those are y'all in relationships. I want y'all to take y'all significant other And just try to bite them. I guarantee something inside their brain is going either sock you in the head, push you back, or say, what are you fucking doing on my arm? There's no way I'm going to just let somebody chew me up. Even if I agree to it out loud and they take a bite into my arm, I'm going to be like, you know what? This idea just ain't it. Let's just die together in our arms. You're not finna eat me, dude. Oh, she probably killed him first. Duh. You didn't just go eating... Okay, okay, that belongs in Berlizzi Dumbest Dumbest Sayings Part 2. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my throat, thirst. Her meat was supple and satisfying. That blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I'd been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking. This food used to be a person before I tore it apart. It all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying. 
and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me even after she died. So I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. Nigga, huh? And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. All right, let's keep going. Whoa, classroom 4A. What the hell kind of room is this? It's not like a classroom I've ever seen. Hey, Shinazaki. My head is splitting. Are you... Are you okay? We shouldn't be here. We really sh shouldn't be here. It looks like there's something in there, though. In the back. Uh, what the hell? Stay back! Uh, don't, don't scare me like that. Jeez. You absolutely, positively must not look into his eyes, okay? If you thought I was finna look bro in his eyes, you got me twisted. He a crib. I'm a blood. F*** that. On Togami. A rusted, blood-soaked nail puller is sitting on top of the desk. Take it. Yes, take it. Acquired nail puller. Oh, that's the that's to take the nails off pre off principal's door. Hello. You need to juke move him. He's finna chase you. I'm sure. Okay, he cool. He cool. You really thought I was finna turn around and look bro in his eyes? Got me twisted with that. Okay, nail puller. Now let's check this side of the hall. Yo, the soundtrack in this game is crazy, bruh. I gotta just keep saying it. <clears throat> Sorry. Based on the long strands of hair scattered all around, these are likely the remains of a female student. There's a hastily written note on the ground. Its writer seems to have struggled with it, as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read. Why, sister? It hurts. It hurts. After I die, the pain will continue forever. No. No, 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 no. Sis, you lied to me. You're going to leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. You good? I hate you, sister. It hurts. Wow. I guess the red are angry spirits and the blue are sad ones? Broken ones? The door is locked. There's an erratic noise inside like, okay, okay. So maybe what I do in one dimension affects what I do in the other one. So if we were to go back to Naomi's universe, we would see, I mean, if I can get the nails off of there. Oh, oh, duh. Okay, that's for a wood. No, I can't even, I can't even get by right there. I am not finna look bro in his eyes, f*** that. Let me just see if this is a place I can put a board down. Maybe right there? Okay, so let's go back down and then go up to the third floor. Something about being Yoshi, I don't know, he just... Hold up. What, what is it? Look at her eyes. What the fuck she got going on? What the hell was all that about? Now being Yoshi, I'll be honest, I'm a little shook. I'm a little shook. I don't like that. I did not like that at all. That takes me back up to the second floor. I think she might have went down towards the main entrance. Why did she do that just now? Weirdo. 
Are you good? Shinozaki, there you are. What are you doing? Hey, Yumi, fam. She getting possessed. You know what's crazy though? She's the main one playing with these demonic spirits to begin with. I'm not shocked at this. You play with fire, you get burned. Look at you, in the corner, on fire, burned up. The front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Oh gosh. I hold, in the palm of my hand, a piece of a person's body. A piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to her head, and now, I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy. This is the same person. And I just keep squishing it in my palm, as if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Something wrong with bro, man. Now you need to get your ass up and keep moving. Shinazaki, hey. Hmm? Kishinuma! What's wrong? Um, you were saying some pretty weird shit in this corner talking about mom's party and uh 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 some other weird shit, bruh. Come on, let's go. Was she not aware? It must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all to hell by now. No, I'm pretty sure her nerves are controlled by Satan in the underworld. Uh, never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. And y'all be sitting up here thinking that like, OH MY GOD! It's that ghost from before. It left the classroom. Don't let it touch you. He finna get with a fucking juke move like no other. Come on in here, dude. Is he gonna come in here? Hello? Get you. Is he gonna come in here, bro? I would love to juke him out. Come on, dude. He don't want no parts of me in here. He a punk. Get juked. Fake ass um Smurf uh Smurf Deku bitch. Get Detroit du get Detroit juked. Get Detroit spin moved. Okay, we're headed up to the third floor. Now, if my hypothesis is correct, we should be approaching the... Wait, I don't think the bathroom was up here. we never been to this section. Third floor, West Hall. Whoa! What? What the... Ouch! Okay, so we're not allowed yet. See, look, they're going to the bathroom right here, right there, East Hall. Whoa! A crude picture seemingly drawn by a child adorns on the shelves. Four smiling children are surrounded, surrounding an adult and merely stabbing him to death. How unsettling. See, I told you I think a, a, a teacher was the one who might have touched some little kids and then killed them so they didn't say nothing. What did we see of something similar like that though? I feel like that was a game we had played before. I can't remember though. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Maybe not. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in this school, please please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. The custodian. And I really can't get in here? Alright, forget it. I'm done trying. Oh my gosh. Well, I gotta get by him again? And 
I didn't see any boards along the way. Nah, no boards in here. Alright, let's, let's go back to bro. Any boards in here? Oh, what is that? The door is nailed shut and the nails are hammered in tight. It's not going to open through any normal means. Use the nail puller. Ooh. Ooh, okay. What is that? Victim Memoirs 3. I've been searching every last corner of the school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her. With her eyeball, relax. But it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. This dude writing this wants a friend so bad, he's considering an eyeball of the friend that he just ate as a as a as an entity its own of its own. That's hilarious. I'm so unbearably thirsty. So hungry that it feels like my stomach is eating itself. And every moment, it gets worse. It's like a big black mass in front of me that's slowly closing in. I can't keep ignoring it. I started talking to the eyeball in my head to help stay focused and maintain my sanity. Stop looking at me like that. I swear I'll find us a way out of here. I have to make sure I tell your family what you did for me. Oh my gosh. The level of trauma that you have to go through to start talking to an eyeball. I don't ever want to experience that in my life. That's awesome. Castaway uh, volleyball shit. But worse, because you ate the human. It appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system, rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it? Yeah. I had a feeling it had to do with that. Oh, and that might close the gap between the principal's room. Now, is Rose still in here or he left? Because he's chasing us now. Nice. Now, he might try and trap us in here, in, in which I may hit him with the smoothest juke move. Nice. Yes. Show me principal room. Show me principal room. Where's that to? Okay, that's where bro is right now. That's fine. That's fine. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. No! Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagined death. What's going on? It's pitch black. Shinazaki! Miss Yui! Satoshi! I is anyone there? Man, where the hell am I? Was, was I dreaming or something? I can't move? It feels like walls all around me. I am I in a hole or something? What was that? Ugh. What the? Who's? Ugh, stop! He's being buried alive. Stop! The hell? I'm alive down here. You you planning to suffocate me? My mouth is getting totally filled up. Oh, I think that did it. I can't breathe. Am I gonna die like this? Why? Who would? This can't be happening. And they gonna put more. This isn't funny. Stop it. My eyes are really hurting. That's it. That's it. Y'all couldn't have just given me game over and let me try again already?
Do not show me that. This game got the nerve to have different endings. Who's fucking dirty ass hand is that? Get out of my face. What are you doing? Slapping me? High five? No, you're, we're not friends. I'm going back in. That blue dude thought he was thought he was boys now. Like, thanks for getting me another body. No. F back, bitch. Come on. Come on, Deku. Stupid ass. This is six blocks. Come on, come on. What you wanna do? Psych! 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 Get off me, dude! Fucking juke moved on. Good move, Yoshi. Good move, Yoshi. Why he come out the room hot like that? Like he really jumped out of there. Get juke moved though. Get juke moved. Get. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. What does the sign say? No, I'm not about to read that right now. I'm trying to get away from bro. He wild. Cannot be trusted at all. Hey Yumi, put a candle down right here so I can save. Now you ain't got no more candles. That's hilarious. Oh, here she go. What's wrong? You you need to stop for a minute? No. I, I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. Exactly. That's my girl. No objections, I assume. Go ahead. Good work, Ayumi. Good work. Yes, sir. Outside infirmary. We know what that means. Okay, so I see three holes in the floor. It's an old-fashioned space heater. Unfortunately, it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. That's what they want you to think. Y'all don't smell y'all friend? Okay, okay. The journal seems almost decorative, as if it were a plastic model built into the desk. No part of it can be moved, even the slightest bit. That's just the lamp. Okay, okay. Alright, we're out, we're out. There should be a body. Okay. So whatever happens in the other one doesn't happen here. Or maybe it does. You see what I'm saying? Somebody gotta be coming back and cleaning up the mess or something, dude. Only one route, let's go. Who is this? Who is this? You see the footsteps? Judging by size, these appears to be the remain. Okay, give me the name tag. Uh, I don't wanna read. Who is Kizami? Is that my last name? Yo, did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. Okay, so that's whoever corpse we find. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. I'm gonna read and find out. Pushed downstairs. Suffered compound fracture and bled out. From being pushed down the stairs, bro? Oh my gosh, here we go. Victim's memoirs, four out of five. <clears throat> I am writing these memories with sticky hands, but it's not me that is sticky, but something else. I hope you're not mad about this. Maybe you will think I'm a horrible person, but I got hungry again, really? This is some morbid stuff, bro. I got hungry again, really hungry, like I was about to die, so I did something I shouldn't have done. I promised myself I would stay sane and promised myself I wouldn't do what I did. And I am so, so sorry, really, really sorry, really sorry, but there is no excuse for what I did. With my bloody hands, I took the one thing I've been squishing and I put it in my mouth and I, I sw swallowed it, I ate it. Is that the blue kid that we running away from? Let's just check real quick. I don't even want to waste no time. Oh, look, there's a hole in the wall. What is that? Wh what's this? Hmm. 
seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like a person. Somebody, somebody died here. I can hear her voice. No, no, please don't. She about to get possessed. Boy, what, what's wrong? Is that a toilet? Is that a commode? Whoa, that's the bucket. That's the bucket. That's Naomi voice. Aww. Damn it all. What the hell is going on around here? Oh no, we're not done in here yet. Dude. We are not done in here yet. What the hell? The stall is pitch black inside. There's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. It almost feels like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. That's it? Alright, come on. There she go. There she go. Yeah, there you go. Take a step back. Let's go, Yoshi. Seriously, let's make moves. Who could she be talking as? Where's your text at? Get back! What's up? That really hurt. She must have sucked me in the stomach. What is this demonic shit y'all got me playing on my computer, bro? What the hell are you are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. Thank you. Let's go. Fuck her. God damn it. Who are you? That poor girl. She's lost her mind and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul and someone else's take their place. Ugh. Never. I'm out of here. You're both y'all tripping. Goodbye. Shinazaki. I shouldn't just walk away from her like this. Um, if she punch you in the gut like that again, yes you can. Man, I'm really scared of her right now. Oh, I wonder what did this to her. Yoshi, now is not the time for a flashback. Gishinuma! Hold up. Okay, we finally get to see another teacher. Maybe he's on some weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hitting the tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Exposure, that's what. I'm sorry. You a real problem child, you know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? <laughs> Disowned by your parents? Living on your own? Got no friends? 
Never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise the ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. Damn. That's the thing about teachers too, bro. Like, why are y'all even like... Why are y'all putting that... Planting these kind of seeds in these kids' heads? I remember I had this one teacher back in like... Man, I don't wanna... I can't even remember her name right now, but I kid you not. It had to be like... Third... I think it was fourth grade. I think I remember it was fourth grade at Lindstrom Elementary School. I had this kid. His name was Simron. He was Middle Eastern. And he was good as fuck at soccer, right? But, like, you could tell he only went to school to beat niggas' ass in soccer. He didn't care about no tests. He didn't care about no homework. He just cared about recess and whooping ass in soccer. I thought he was cool. I thought he was hilarious, right? But I remember one day in class, I really wish I could remember this teacher's name. I remember one day in class, we had got our spelling test back. It might have been, it might have been like language arts. I don't think it was just spelling in the fourth grade, but we got our language arts test back, and I think he got like, like the fifth F for that semester, right? This teacher put him on blast in front of everybody. Do you even do your homework? How did you get a grade this low? It's almost like you didn't even answer any questions right at all. Like you purposely got them wrong. Why can't you just study? What's wrong with you? Like just going off in the middle of the class. I'm looking at Simron like, Simron, take her ass to the field and fucking drop her with some juke moves. But Simron just sat there and took it. I even think Simron was smiling a little bit. Probably because he knew his parents had all that oil money, was finna just buy the school and fire her bitch ass. But it's almost like, dude, like... Teachers really don't understand the weight that they have on these children's minds. And for you to sit there and even mention, do you study? Are you good enough? Like anything like that. You don't know what that does to kids. You don't know what kind of demons kids is facing at home and you sitting up here making it worse. Now they gotta, now they gotta leave your ugly ass classroom to go right back home to the same bull. Yo, Simron, if you watching this video, bro, hey, hit me, tweet me. What's up? I miss you. All right. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home life as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh-huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family. They never once shown their faces around here. Damn. Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> Uh, my parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say? Yeah, it's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. Damn! If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours are, obviously, with you. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there's so many brats like you in this world. He's right about run thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass and drop out. Ooh, Yoshi, hold up, though. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. <laughs> hmm? What's with that look? Uh-oh. I've never hit a teacher before. Oh, well. First time for everything. Uh-oh, Yoshi. Uh-oh, Yoshi. Hey, Yumi might have saved Yoshi from going to jail. Whoa! See what I'm saying? I knew it was, bro, I knew it, I knew it. Gotcha, thanks. Hmm, Shinazaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? 
always so clear and focused. <laughs> we instructors like your kind best of all. You ever have a problem, you come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> what was that first sound he made? <laughs> PG, slow that down. That guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? Watch out. You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fate it would be it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. And you'd regret it later, you know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it might be, and no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end, just stay in school. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. Aw, oh, Ayumi. Honestly. Why? Why are you crying? Ah, sorry. Whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinazaki from class 1-3. Sorry t to butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling. <laughs> I was lying, of course. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Damn! Yo, Yoshi, go back and get her, bro. Go back in there and get her, bro. Why you had to hit me with that flashback on the staircase? I never actually thanked her for what she did that day. For crying on my behalf. Yoshi, go get your friend, bro. Don't, don't sit there on the... Hold on, my thigh showing? Don't sit there on the staircase and act like... And act like I was supposed to know that. I'm over here calling her a B-word. She ain't no B-word. She a Q-word. Ugh, queen. Ugh. And I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I'd protect her no matter what the f*** is that? This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. You've got to be kidding me. Oh shit. No way. No, 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 no. 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 In addition to multiple broken bones all throughout his head and neck, Yoshi's rib cage shattered on impact and pierced his lungs. As he convulsed and writhed in an ever-growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids, his vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw was a figure with wide, empty eyes and an unnatural smile stretched across the length of its face, rocking slowly back and forth in admiration of its handiwork. Ayumi was clearly very pleased with herself. <laughs> Why is my webcam so yellow? I am not a Simpson. How did I get a wrong ending?
Don't high five me, dude. Seriously. Oh, you see that it said you listen as they bury me alive? That's what happened to uh Yoshi in the first death. So these students are going out in the same way. Or the student these students are going to the same way the students who were murdered were. I think that's the correlation here. Help her help her help her fight it. Help her fight it. Nice. Okay, now when they give me the option, okay, you got socked in the stomach. So what? So what? She's a girl, you can take that. <laughs> she laughing, right? She laughing. That's that's yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. He just talking bullshit. I'm gonna go right back to her. You are not finna be le left here alone. You are not finna be left here alone. And Yumi is staring at you as if transfixed, with an unnaturally wide smile stretched across her face. Stop. Stop. Hey, Yumi, stop. Control yourself. Come here. Stop. Dude, she just keeps giggling, though. I'm gonna go back in this room. Maybe it has something to, something to do with, uh, with the girl in here. Shinazaki. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? No, not another story. She gonna come in here and kill you again. Oh my gosh. It's over. Shinazaki. Oh, thank God. Please come back to me, Shinazaki. We're gonna find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason. No reason for you to stay like this. The power of love. Kishinuma? Where? What? Sh Shinozaki, you're... No. Is it you? Are you back? So what you're saying? Yeah, so far, all the corpses we found here have been people we've never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us, someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. Ugh. And the next thing I knew, I was in your arms, and you were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't she just say hugging? <laughs> Yoshi, now is not the time. You wanna know what you wanna know what the other what the end, other ending was for you, huh? Do you, dude? It was death. Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once, your intuition was wrong. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot it felt like it was on fire. And then I voided my bowels, and everything went dark. You shit yourself? You stink? There's some cream in the bathroom. Seiko took it in there. Uh, just check the bucket. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and my legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and 
the pain was so excruciating. <laughs> Aw, calm down, Shinazaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Well, we searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, that's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Alright, let's get out of here. That evil ass spirit a minute ago. What was that about? I really took off and left. That's exactly what I deserve. Fake ass. Let's get back to the other room, though. Oh my gosh. Why do we. Bro, I'm gonna save, then I'm gonna go see what she's talking about, but. No. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from the infirmary. We want no parts of that. Is that Seiko? Or is that Naomi? Who is that? <laughs> Mayu, the, the girl who's finna transfer to the new school. That's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. <laughs> Suzumoto, get away! You need to run quickly! And my homeroom teacher's the best. But I, I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? Mayu is really talking to these dead students. What is that thing on the right? A dog? Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it! Suzumoto, it's us, okay? What the f is that? A Goomba? A mushroom? A dingling? Shinazaki. Kishinuma. <laughs> Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. Oh, she's sad. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Why are you sad then? Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this, and you'll see what I mean. Four children abducted, follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. I knew it. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. Oh my gosh. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. What, dude? Huh? The Heavenly Host Elementary students pictured are the four who were found in that basement room. The basement room of these children. One was when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was. I want to know what that says. I want to know what that says. Was it? Is it? Is it too much for steam or something like that? The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them, too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Suzumoto, you have to stop this! Don't let your emotions get the best of you! No! Stop! Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> What's going on? Oh my gosh! Shinazaki! 
damn it, what the hell did they do? Put, put my friend down. Ugh. Turn on the turn on the space eater. Take the ash out then. I'm not finna leave. I remember what happened last time I did that. Um, I got bodied. Come play. Bro. There's nothing I can do, y'all. I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. We can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to. Don't look at me, y'all. Come on now. Whoa. Your nose is bleeding. What? Don't tell me that. Jeez. And you're so blunt about it, too. Honk. What? Uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello. Who are you? She's got eyes like a dead fish. You've only just arrived at this school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Are you the person that ate the eyeball? Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who's that? High school paranormalist, Naho Sanaki. High school paranormalist, what? I think... She was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. You would know that, Ayumi. Big demon head. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sonoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though, I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Damn, she died down here. Your last posting was about the Sashiko Ever After charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition, on purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the only ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article? It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. 
without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell did we do that? Thank you, Yoshi, asking the questions that need answers. Thank you. Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying? The murderer is here in this school. Yes. Seriously? Fuck, that scared me. Somebody's in the kitchen just made a loud ass noise. How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where will we even begin? Oh my gosh. You need to do whatever you can and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spears are going to hurt your friend. Oh my god. We we will. We'll think of something. I, I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, Shinazaki, hold up! I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm gonna take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all. So thanks. What is this game? Not again. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, I, I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. Shinazaki, she needs to get out of this school or she could be in real trouble. Damn it, why is there no exit? Since when do you come all the way over here? Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna try the custodian room. Maybe the door opened up. Are these keys? There's an old fashioned festival doll laying on the ground here. It seems to be missing its head. Pick it up. Yes, pick it up. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its soul desire. Well, what the? I hear a voice. Give me back my head? Acquired antique doll body. Okay. I guarantee Blue Blue Boy follows me up here now. Nope, get juked. Stay down there. Okay. I doubt the head would be on this floor. Please do not trap me in here. I think he just I think he just walked in. Unless that was me. Let's make moves. Oh my God. Nope. Try again, loser. He was on his way to come body me. Can I can I get a better soundtrack? This is just eerie. It's eerie and ominous. I'm out of here. I knew the I knew the doll head wasn't even on this floor. Save though. If at first you don't succeed. Dust yourself off and uh, save the game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do I get to that? 
Damn, dude. Okay, I guarantee it'll probably connect when I get the next uh, doll head, or maybe, maybe I'll find another lever. I fuck with this song way more than the other one, though. Ooh, give me that. This is several. Yes, pick it up. Yes. Thoughts begin to echo. Yep. Come on. Return my body. Connect it, connect it, y'all. As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it begins speaking more clearly and directly. With the high-pitched voice like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold and distorted yet oddly singy-songy tone. Child killing witnessed I, out of sorts within my brain. Never wanting them to die, but scared myself such death and pain. I am so sorry, I feel so ashamed, so very sorry. I am not a bad man. Never wanting them to die, but couldn't raise a helping hand. I am so sorry, I feel so ashamed, so very... Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like, it's just playing around and saying what we want to hear. I don't want to hear that. We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it, it might count as repentance from the murder? I'll never forgive him, no matter what he says. Hey, you me back on that bull. Talking nonsense. I hate when Ayumi start talking like she's one of the demons. You know, you know how quick I you lose my trust when you switch like that. I actually saw what you're capable of. I don't trust you. You have my back though. Okay, come on, come on, Blue Deco. I mean. Uh, Come on, dude, watch out. I would give it to you, but I know you're just angry and violent. At least these other kids asked me to play with them. You don't even want to play with me. You just want a body. Okay, let's give it a shot. Oh my gosh. Haven't you ghosts done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I, I get that it was really horrible. But you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is that supposed to accomplish, huh? Don't yell at them. Hand them the doll. What are you waiting on? Stop! If you make them mad, they'll shut us out. Thank you, Ayumi. Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. And Yumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the penitent spirit sealed within. Aw, oh, she crying for her mommy. You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. The horrible things that happened to you are all in the past. Your loved ones. Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Please? I know you can do it. That red flash does not sound good. Or look good. Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. It's a rap for Suzumoto. Is it a rap? No! Stop!
Oh, and that's how that happens on the wall. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's kind of heat. That's kind of heat. Ayumi threw the antique doll to the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. Oh my gosh. Is she? No. Oh my gosh, I... Oh, this is some excellent writing. I'm not even in the front to y'all right now. What's the saying that y'all that y'all kids be saying? No cap? This is excellent writing, no cap. Can I say no snapback? I'ma stop. Oh my gosh. What the hell? This isn't, it couldn't be Suza. I can't take this anymore! Shinozaki! Who is that at the bottom, y'all? I'm... I'm really starting to lose it. Whoa! Shino... Okay, I think he just... Who the f*** is that? Shloop? Shloop? What language is that, y'all? Seriously. That can't be the end of chapter two. You're not finna leave me on a cliff like that. Are y'all really about to leave me on the cliff like that? Oh, thank God. Am I still alive? No way. <gasps> oh my gosh! Miss Shishido! Oh my gosh! What? What? The spirit saved me? The shelf feels like it's gotten lighter. Miss Shishido! Let's go! So you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am! But you're just their instructor, no? You have no familial bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children! Oh, Mr. Shidu. Teacher of the Award, right? I mean, Teacher of the Year Award. Give that to her. I, I think I speak for every single one of us at Kisaragi Academy when I say that we love our children. We care about them just as their parents do. Aw. Never underestimate a teacher. <laughs> uh, Mr. Shidu? You about to turn blue? Now answer me this! Your little rant earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two I came with and the one I heard. Ugh. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? Ugh, Mrs. Shida said you won't get respect if you're back, Nutty Rag. You see how quick she stood up? Ugh, pressed him. Ugh. It is. Numerous corporal entities joined us in those closed spaces, all at the same time. Counting you, I sense the arrival of nine people. <laughs> My right arm is definitely broken. And all this blood, all those cutting implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. Shinazaki and Kishinuman must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. That spirit was trapped here, just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred. One victim drawn to harm another. It's not just people trapped in this space, but their sadness and torment as well. 
It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs in these walls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. <laughs> okay, okay, I was playing this game, bro. Chapter one, when it ended, I was like, ah, okay, okay, this is kind of cool. Chapter two brought that heat. Oh my gosh, and I got three more. I don't want to stop, but it's one in the morning. Ugh. And you know we're playing this back to back. I, there's no way I can leave y'all on these. Yo, this game come with cliffhangers. How you gonna make a game but put in the cliffhangers? Was this Telltale first project? I gotta get off Telltale nuts. Wow. Oh my gosh. So when I think about it, we still have not seen Satoshi or his little sister. Or the dude with the glasses. We've seen Naomi. We've seen Seiko, we've seen Yoshi, Ayumi, and now Mai Mayu, who unfortunately got her splatted on the side of the wall. After we tried to save her. Oh my gosh, and Yoshi got kidnapped. Don't play the happy tune to me. Oh my gosh. Alright, you guys, look. Three chapters left. Chapter five looks like there's a lot to uncover with all them stars. What does that mean? Mario Mario Brothers? <sighs> Very intense game. Excellent storyline. Very dark though. Like there's a lot of morbid stuff in this. A lot of dark themes too, man. Like you could tell like these, <sighs> I guess we'll uncover more about these kids and their past in the next chapters to come. I really want to know where the other students are, but I'm more, I'm honestly, that's that's what makes this game great. Not only am I concerned about where the other students are, but I'm actually curious to uncover what happened 30 years ago. I know it has something to do with teachers, it has something to do with adults, and when we played that song back, they had said that was the killer's doll, which meant that they didn't want to do it. Or I gotta hear that song back again, post-editing. By the time I come back for, for chapter three, I'll understand a little bit more about what I just experienced. I'm sure y'all understand this, so give me some give me some slack in the comments if, I, if I'm not making sense right now. But yeah, I really gotta figure out who that red-eyed demon with the Fortnite axe who showed up and got my boy Yoshi, who is that? That gotta be the killer, and why did he actually look like a zombie? Everybody else looked like, well, I mean, that was, that was Smurf Deku too. He was a bitch though. I really wanted to throw these with him. And when Yoshi, oh, oh my gosh. When a Yumi threw you, Yoshi down the staircase. Oh, I, that was probably the one of the, one of the few game deaths where I was like, yo, he really did not deserve that. I'm glad that it told me it was a bad ending and I can go back in and get the right one. I'm loving this series. I'll see y'all again for part three tomorrow. If you enjoyed this series, make sure you leave a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, man, love each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Ugh. Peace. What's oh, in here? This for me? Oh my god! <laughs>